Many years ago, around 2018 AD, a light shone bright in Shangotedo, and a church was born. The pillars of the church were created by spirit-filled people, inspired by the Holy Spirit. They are one sound. To win souls through spirit-filled songs and ministrations, one media to bring the imagination of the church to life on the big screen. Ushering protocol, hospitality and traffic at the front-facing units, they ensure orderliness in and out of service, making members and guests comfortable. Membership team helps new members in one church to know more about us, especially what makes us family. Maturity team helps to continue the process of spiritual growth as you strive to reflect the nature of Jesus Christ in every area of your life. The prayer unit upholds the congregation and the community in prayer. This year, One Church has reached out to even more people to continue to grow as one family through the Life Group program with eight different locations across the city. We are growing smaller to grow bigger. The church has encouraged the growth of both genders by setting up a men's ministry known as King's Men and a women's ministry known as One Woman's Network. But its message isn't just for adults. The junior church and the teen's church ensure that our future is being nurtured the right way God intended. So why would you stick around one church? Because we care for our family. We want them to grow in all areas of their life with the best kind of foundation there is, the foundation of Christ. We invite you to join our services Sundays, 8 a.m. and 10 a.m., both online and on-site. First timers can pick up a welcome pack at the hospitality stand in exchange for the guest card received during service. Also, join us on Wednesdays, 6.30 p.m. online, showing on all our social media platforms. Do come along with a friend. We have a surprise for you. See you soon. Good evening, church. I want to welcome you this evening to God's presence. I want us to begin to thank the Lord this evening. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Father, we appreciate you for your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, for your power. We thank you, God, for this wonderful day that you have made. Lord, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O oh God, and ask that your hand will be mighty upon our life this evening in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us to pray and ask that the hand of God will rest upon our life this evening. I don't know what you want the Lord to do for you this evening, but I want you to pray and ask for God's touch upon your life. Open your mouth and pray that the Lord will touch you in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this evening. We ask, O oh God, for your touch in our lives in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, you will turn our lives around in Jesus' name. We ask, O oh God, for your spirit to do the unusual in our lives in the name of Jesus. We pray that this evening, as we have come to fellowship with you, Father, we will not go back home the same way. We pray for a transformation of our lives in the name of Jesus. You will turn our lives around, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I bondo robobo son to go la baba baba ma yanga de be de be de son to go robobo do shinke de yaga da baba do in the name of Jesus I want us to pray according to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 to 18 The Bible says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give unto us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus that the eyes of our understanding may be enlightened I want us to pray this evening and ask that the Lord will enlighten our understanding, that the power of God's word will be made available unto us this evening in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this evening. We ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus.
for the revelation of your word to be made known unto us. Father, we ask, O oh God, you will cause the eyes of our understanding to be enlightened in the name of Jesus. Mali banda rapo son togo lo bobo zendege yege de brebe de sin toro bobo bobo shanti raba baba lei baranda ba lege iko son toro bobo bobo zendege ya ba raba baba baba mali banda robo bobo bobo son togo yege de brebe de i baranta ba raba baba baba ma yanga de be de brebe de son togo yege de brebe de li bodo robo bobo bobo son togo yege de raba baba baba ma yanga de raba baba baba ma rige le brebe de in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we glorify your holy name because we know, O oh God, you will fill us with the revelation of the truth of your word. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that your power will be mighty upon our lives this evening. In the name of Jesus. We pray for transformation, O oh God. We pray, O oh God, you will meet us specially this evening and we will share testimonies of your faithfulness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us to pray this evening and ask that the blessings of God will rest upon our lives. The Bible says, and the blessings of God that come Without sorrow, I want us to pray for such a blessing that the Lord will bless us indeed, that our lives will be far away from everything that does not glorify God. I want us to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this evening. We ask, O oh God, for your blessings upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Your blessings, O oh God, that make it rich, that had it no sorrow, let it be our portion in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive your blessings around every area of our lives in the name of Jesus. Your blessings upon our family, upon our business, upon our children, upon our finances, upon our marriages. Oh God, we pray for your blessings in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh God, you will bless us. We ask, oh God, you will take away everything that will come with pain. Everything that will come with sorrow far away from our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you will take away everything that will come with pain out of our lives, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Ma lege de ye bondo robo bobo bobo son togo lega da raba baba 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 ma yanda la ma dege ye ko son togo robo bobo dos li bodo robo sente ge ya banda raba baba manda li manda rege shende ge ye ge son togo robo bobo bobo dos in the name of Jesus Father Lord we thank you Lord we give you glory thank you Father thank you Jesus for in Jesus mighty name we pray. In 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and in verse 14, the Bible says that if we humble ourselves, if we humble ourselves, if we seek the face of God and if we pray that the Lord will hear, I want us to pray this evening and ask that the hand of God will be mighty upon this nation. I want us to pray that the grace of God will be made available unto Nigeria. I want us to pray that the Lord will cause his peace. Is peace that passes every human understanding to rest upon our lives. I want us to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this nation. We ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that your power will rest upon this nation in the name of Jesus. Let your power rest upon Nigeria. We pray for the peace of this nation. We pray for the peace of this nation in the name of Jesus. We pray for the peace of this nation in the name of Jesus. We ask, O oh God, that your power will rest upon this nation in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that your power will rest upon this nation. We ask, O oh God, it is well with Nigeria in the name of Jesus. We come against confusion. We come against every plan of the enemy concerning this nation in the name of Jesus. We ask, O oh God, for the good of our land. 
We pray for the peace of this nation in the name of Jesus. We pray for peace in the east. We pray for peace in the west. We pray for peace in the south. We pray for peace in the north in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, oh God, it is well with Nigeria in Jesus' name. We come against bloodshed in this nation in the name of Jesus. We come against bloodshed in this nation in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh God, that your mighty power will rest upon Nigeria in the name of Jesus. We ask that your mighty power will rest upon Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us to begin to pray against the spirit of wickedness in our land. I want us to pray that the Lord will take away every art of stone and replace with the art of flesh. That the Lord will eliminate every form of wickedness out of this nation in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for Nigeria. We ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, you will take away every form of wickedness. Every form of wickedness in the hearts of the people of this nation. We ask, oh God, you will replace it with the heart of flesh in the name of Jesus. You will take away every heart of stone in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, oh God, for a heart, oh God, that we glorify you. A heart, oh God, that we honor you in this nation in the name of Jesus. We come against every form of wickedness in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we pray this evening against every form of sickness. Wherever you are sick in your body, I want you to begin to ask God for healing. Father, we pray for your healing this evening. You will cause your healing to rest upon the bodies of your people. Every sickness from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Father, we ask for your healing in the name of Jesus. We command every sickness to disappear in Jesus' name. Father, we command every sickness to disappear this evening in the name of Jesus. By your stripes, O oh God, we are healed. We ask, O oh God, for complete healing in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh God, for complete healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we ask, O oh God, it is well with our spirit, soul, and body in the name of Jesus. You will do great and mighty things in our midst this evening in the name of Jesus. That as your word will come forth, O God, your word will come with power to bring about transformation, to bring about deliverance, to bring about salvation in our lives, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory. Thank you, Father. We declare this heavens open this evening. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
lift your hands. Jesus, just you and I. I don't want to leave our people seeing you. Because it's not about me. It's not about me. It's about you, Jesus. Father, we just thank you. We give you praise for yet another time in your presence this evening. Thank you for the beautiful time in worship. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that your presence here be overwhelming, that the knowledge of your word, O oh God, consume us. We thank you for bringing us this far in our lives, in our homes, in our careers. O oh God, uh, in all that concerns us, we just come to say, thank you. We ask that our worship, that the lifting of our hands be acceptable in your sight uh, this evening, for we pray in Jesus' name. And everybody said a big amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I want to see a big welcome uh, to yet another uh, advanced midweek event here at One Church. I trust it's been a great week for you. I pray it only gets better and better uh, in the days ahead, indeed, the paths of the righteous man are as of a shining light, Scripture says, shining ever brighter unto the perfect day. Right. I want us to, just before we go into the Word, I would love 
uh, uh, for you to ensure. It's a communion service. Amen. So I'll share briefly and then we'll uh, pray over the communion elements. So I think it's important that you have same. All right. So if you would ensure that you have, uh, uh, you know, the wafer and, you know, the wine or what represents those things. Uh, also, please, you know, ensure you have the family together. Uh, and lastly, help me send out the links to your friends. Let them know service has kicked off and they indeed will be blessed. OK, so I'll give you a minute to do that. Get family and friends together. Ensure you get the communion elements together and also send out a notice to your friends. Please let me know where you're watching from. I'm watching from Lagos. I'm watching from Kano. I'm watching from London. Wherever it is, let me know where you're watching from. Uh, 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 let's enjoy each other's company uh, as we have this online today. And Jesus said a parable in Luke chapter 18. Uh, and that may not always pray and not to faint. And told the story uh, of a judge who did not fear God nor fear man uh, and had this woman, you know, who would knock on his door constantly asking that he, have, he avenge her of her enemies. And he ignored her for a while. And then after a while, he avenged, he avenged her, uh, you know, saying, look, this woman is going to weary me out with her much knocking, her much requests uh, and things like that. You know, and Jesus was very clear there, if you, if you will, uh, Luke chapter 18. And Jesus was very clear there where he said, look, hear what an ungodly man has said. Let's go. Uh, let's go in verse 6. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. Hear what an ungodly man has said. And if an ungodly man could say that, then how much more your father in heaven shall God not avenge his own elect that cry unto him day and night. And so first thing is you need to be rest assured, amen, that God is keen to answer your prayers. God is eager to answer your prayers. God is not, you know, lying in bed and just listening to you knock uh, and enjoying the knocks, uh, you know, in the name of you are being tested and all the kinds of excuses. Uh, we, we bring in the way of unanswered prayers. God is in, God is eager, unlike the unjust judge. God is greater than the unjust judge. The relationship we have with God is a relationship of love, it's a relationship of uh, 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 favor, amen. It's a relationship between a father and his children. And this is one thing you need to resolve in your personal prayer life, amen, in your prayer culture that God is eager to respond to me. God is eager to answer my prayers. The only hindrance, for instance, could be something like faith. Hebrews 11:6 says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that comes to him must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Another hindrance could be that you are not praying within the confines of his will. In 1 John 5:14. And I'll read it to us, talking about this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, 1 John 5, 14, this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask, then we know that we have the petitions that we have desired of him. So God hears you. And if God hears you, and you are confident that God hears you, then you your prayers have been answered already. Another hindrance, for instance, could be your prayer life. It could be your thought life. Amen. Your thought life. Your thought life must be consistent with your prayer life for you to have answers to prayers. Uh, Philippians 4. Philippians 4. Uh, you see from verse 6. It says, Be careful for nothing but in all things by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever. Finally. So this is part of the process. You, you cannot divorce this from the rest. Finally, whatsoever things are true, uh, uh, honest, just, pure, lovely, of good report. If there be any virtue, 
if there be any praise, think upon these things. Amen. Think upon these things. Also, never forget to be someone who gives thanks. Who gives thanks. Thanksgiving is part of the believer's prayer culture. It is prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. The Bible says that we should in all things give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ concerning us. You should see that in 1 Thessalonians 5, uh, I believe verse 18. In everything give thanks. This is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In everything, in everything, in everything give thanks. When you are uh, 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 praying give thanks. When you're not praying give thanks. When you feel your prayers have been answered, give thanks. When you haven't seen an answer, keep giving thanks. Thanksgiving is what we do in that process. Right thinking is what we do uh, uh, in that process. Amen. Think right. Keep giving thanks. Keep your thought life. Amen. In order, uh, uh, pray within the confines of the will of God. Be rest assured that your relationship with God it's a relationship between a father and his children. And trust me, you will see God come through for you in every instance. There is no temptation that is come upon you, but such as is common to man. And God is faithful. He will with the temptation. This should be 1 uh, Corinthians 10, the 13th verse. He will with the temptation make a way of escape that you are able to. To bear it whatever tough time hard time you might be going through right now and in a nation like ours you know uh you are you're bogged down by news of insecurity and this is going on and that is going on uh this is happening somebody was shot today this person died yesterday the exchange rate and all the negativity that goes on around you it's very 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 important it's super important that you are in a place where you can hear god where you remain sensitive to what the Holy Spirit is saying, where you are reassured, amen, that God uh, indeed answers your prayers. Uh, and in all things, give thanks. For this is his will uh, concerning you in Christ Jesus. I, I then want to proceed. Like I said, I'm basically just doing a recap today. I want us to spend uh, a few minutes praying in the Spirit before we round up um, and also we'll partake of the communion uh, service. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and the first verse, Paul speaks to us about not being ignorant concerning spiritual things. 1 Corinthians 12 was essentially written to resolve the ignorance question or the ignorance issue uh, amongst the Corinthian church, but also, I believe, the larger uh, body of Christ. Um, and and, 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 and uh, one thing he says to us, um, is that if you, if you are educated on that front, then you are able to function fully, function perfectly in God's will concerning spiritual things. And one of the things I want us to look at is the subject of praying in the Spirit. Praying in the Spirit. When Scripture says to us to pray always, you see this in uh, Ephesians 6, Verse 18, and indeed in, in a few other scriptures, it says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And I'd always wondered, how can you pray always? Amen. In a city like this, uh, uh, in a clime like this, in fact, really anywhere, even a city like this, anywhere. Yeah, you have work to go to, you have the children to tend to, uh, you know, you have finances to think about, uh, you know, exams, school, what have you, different things that we have to deal with. And scripture says to pray always. Not only does it say to pray always, it says with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto or being alert with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. I love the good speed translation. It says, use every kind of prayer and entreaty and at every opportunity pray in the spirit. So the key to praying always is praying in the spirit. The key to praying always is praying in the spirit. The key to pray always, I'll say again, is praying 
in the spirit. Every believer, every child of God ought to be baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Because that then enables you and empowers you to pray in the spirit. And this is the promise of the Father as listed in Mark 16 uh, from verse 15 to 17. In fact, verse 17 basically says, These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they will cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall speak with new tongues. Tongues are a prayer weapon. A prayer weapon. Tongues are a prayer weapon. A prayer weapon. When you constantly and consistently pray in the Spirit, when you constantly and consistently pray in tongues, amen, by virtue of being baptized in the Holy Spirit, you are using one of your strongest weapons in the prayer field. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 14, 14 and 15, if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit is praying. Amen. My spirit is praying and my mind or my understanding is unfruitful. My spirit is praying. I want to marry that with Romans 8 and then we just begin to round up. Romans 8, if you will. And maybe one more scripture. Romans 8. And Paul is saying to us here in verse 26. In fact, let me, let me go to verse 25. If we hope for what we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. In the same vein, or likewise, the Spirit also helps our infirmities. So there are two things here. There is your waiting period as a believer. Let's assume, um, and I know this does not speak directly to waiting in prayer, but let's assume that, you know, you've prayed about something. Uh, you're waiting patiently. Amen. Paul then says, in the same vein, the Spirit also helps our infirmities. Because sometimes when you find yourself in a waiting period or a waiting season, it could be because you are operating with an infirmity or a handicap. Infirmity here is not weakness. Infirmity here is shortcoming. Infirmity here is handicap. Infirmity here is ignorance, a lack of complete knowledge, as it were. So the Spirit helps our infirmities. For we know not what to pray for as we ought. Sometimes you're praying... And you're not praying for what you should pray for as you ought. Your prayers sound specific to your mind and to your understanding. But according to God's knowledge of the spiritual space and what is actually happening. I mean, you use, for instance, Daniel's example, I believe, in Daniel 10. You know, Daniel is praying concerning the freedom of God's people. And the Bible says from the minute he prayed, an answer was dispatched. But there was actually contention taking place in the heavenlies. And some prayer point is not even the issue. Sometimes what is happening is that there is, there is such an intensity of spiritual warfare over that matter. <laughs> that the spirit needs to help our infirmities. Amen. Uh, by making intercession for the saints or for us with groanings that cannot be uttered in articulate speech. So when you get into the habit of praying in the Spirit, what you are doing is that you are filling up gaps. What you are doing is that you are, you are, you are, the, the Spirit is making intercession. Amen. The Spirit is standing in the gap concerning the believer. The Spirit is answering questions that are unanswered. And things are being resolved. Why? Because you are using your prayer language. I will round up by asking you to open 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 9 it is. From verse, this is a long one. Let's go from verse 6. It says, how be it we speak wisdom. Somebody say in the comment section, I speak wisdom. Amen. When you pray in the spirit, you speak wisdom. Amongst those that are perfect. 
Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world, that come to nothing. We speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom that God ordained before the world unto our glory. That none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But at it is written, listen to this. I has not seen nor ear heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us by his spirit, because the spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. And there are some realms and faces and places you simply will not come into until you tap into the resources that are evident and available in your spirit, man, through praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. And, and my prayer for someone tonight is that as you engage that force, the force of praying in the spirit, you begin to see things break through for you in the name of Jesus. You begin to see answers. You begin to receive concepts and ideas. Amen that what seemed tough, amen, what seemed difficult, what seemed, you know, really rough, what seemed like questions that found no answer, amen, that your spirit begins to download them into your mind and into your earthly experience, and you begin to walk in the reality of those things in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that, if you would just say a big amen in the comment section. I want us to take a minute or so to just pray in the Holy Spirit, amen, before we partake of uh, communion tonight. Let's just pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost and just, you know, thank God for the week ahead. The Bible says that I has not seen nor ear heard the things that God has in store for us. It says God has revealed them to us, amen, by His uh, uh, Spirit. And it says that we speak the things in verse 13. He says, which things we also speak, not in words that man's wisdom teaches, but the Holy Spirit teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Let's just begin to just pray in the Holy Spirit and speak those things. Glory to God. Amen. Speak those things. You need to get into this habit. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Lord, I'm thanking you for every listener, everyone under the sound of my voice today. I thank you, Lord, for the power of the Holy Spirit at work in their lives. Let breakthrough happen. Let answers let questions be answered. Let your name be glorified in these lives. Those who have waited long by the power of the Holy Spirit, we ask, O oh Lord, Holy Spirit, that you uh, 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 make intercession on behalf of the saints, that you make up for our infirmities. La ka ga 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 ma ste ge de ra ta 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 ye po go jo pa ge te 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 go sha ga ta 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 li pa do sto fra ga ta ya ba ga do ste if you would just get the family together and just pray in the holy ghost Amen. And raise a prayer atmosphere in that place. A corporate grace. Amen. Let it begin to speak on behalf of each and every member of that family. Ye pagaya peke dusto fagadalia kustele kemange ratos rosta vara bakira batosto vratele lipaya kura ma le diste va ke para dushte hea la ke 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 bosh anga balia pele sukabaria le paguste e ke mande para te geziste o kabale kadushte hea o lord we give you thanks we give you thanks glory God bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Ikamo zupanat akilando shupana. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you thanks. Glory to God. We give you thanks. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give you praise. Let's just open up the communion elements tonight. Father, we thank you. Thank you for healing in body. Thank you for healing in body, O oh God. Thank you for healing in body. Thank you for healing in mind. Thank you, Lord, for everyone's healing tonight. Oh God, everyone of the sound of my voice, healing, oh Lord, wherever, wherever you need healing, let me ask that you just lay your hands on uh, that place or those places. Let us trust God for a transmission of his power tonight, that the same grace that is evident here will find expression in your home and in your private space in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we come together under, one, under that one banner, Father, one will chase a thousand and two will put 10,000 to flight. Wherever anyone has been locked up in a vicious cycle, we break it. We break it. We break it today in the name of Jesus. We decree that you are released into the freedom of the sons of God, that your body is healed totally and absolutely, that God's name is glorified, that that request receives a testimony now in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks. Oh, we bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Let me ask that you just partake. Amen. Of the communion now, if you uh, uh, take the wafer and the wine. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Trust God for your total and complete healing. Trust God that the week ahead of you and the month indeed ahead of you is one of exceeding abundantly far above all that you dare to ask or think according to God's power that is at work in you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you've been blessed by that, please put an amen in the comment section. God bless you. Thank you so, so, so much. Amen. Uh, for, for being a part of that and getting involved tonight, I pray that your labor of love will not go unanswered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. Bless God. I want to welcome our friends, those who are worshiping with us for the very first time. It's your first time here at One Church. You've never been in any one of our services. I just want to say a big welcome. I want you to please signify to us. Just put a wave in the comment section. Amen. Let's know you are there. We want to love on you and say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of what we do here. We do hope that the service has been a blessing to you. And we look forward to seeing you again and again and again. You should see a QR code on the screen or a link. Please just use any one of them. Capture the code or click on the uh, uh, link. It should lead you to a very small form. We want you to fill it out. Let us know more about you so we can also tell you more uh, about what we do as a church. Amen. We look forward to hearing from you. We meet like this, 6.30 p.m. Uh, presently, except for the last Wednesday of the month. Uh, this month when I mentioned we have a worship event. We also meet uh, uh, 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. on Sundays, online, on-site, amen. We'd love to see you on site. The details will be on the screen. Uh, uh, and, and if you do come on site, please walk up to me and tell me that I invited you during one of the midweek events. I have a special gift for you. God bless you. Thank you so much. We'll take our offerings now. You have the details on the screen. I just want to say again, thank you for everyone or to everyone who is committed to this work in your service in your giving, in your tithing, in your offering. Amen. God indeed will never forget your giving. Uh, it, will, it goes into lives, it goes into destinies, and there is a reward for that. It goes into the mission field. Uh, even this week, we're writing a check, amen, uh, to the mission field. Last Sunday, I also did a video. Uh, it was an urgent video I was asked to do, uh, a word of comfort to the missionaries on the field in the middle of all the uh, uh, insecurity that we're facing these days. I want you to be a part of that. You can be a part of it through your giving, through giving of your tithes, your offerings, and your special gifts. Amen. Ask God to lead you. If you're giving towards our uh, 2021 
vision offerings. Let me uh, vision uh, project offerings. Let me say a big thank you. Please get uh, 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 you know committed to that. Um, uh, redeem those uh, pledges. And I pray God's blessing upon you and everything that you do. Father, we just say a big thank you for this another opportunity to give out of the abundance that you have given us. I pray over everyone on the sound of my voice, even those who will watch later, a full measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will God give into your bosom. We say thank you, Father. We give you praise. We pray in Jesus' name. And everyone said a big amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much uh, uh, for being a part of what we do here. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Follow us online. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now. If you're watching on YouTube or whatever that platform is, God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the week uh, until I see you on Sunday. Enjoy every single day. Amen. Full of God's blessings, full of God's grace and God's favor. And we'll just round up by taking our closing charge. We take it from Proverbs chapter 4. It is verses 18 and then 20 to 23. And we'll do it together. You should see it on the screen. One, two, let's go. It says, my path is as the shining light, shining ever brighter unto the perfect day. This week, I pay attention to God's words. I incline my ears unto his sayings. His words don't depart from my eyes. I keep them in my heart, for his words are life to me and health to my body. This week, I guard my heart with all diligence, for everything I do flows from it. Till I see you then, have a blast. Many years ago, around 2018 AD, a light shone bright in Shangotedu, and a church was born. The pillars of the church were created by spirit-filled people, inspired by the Holy Spirit. They are one sound. To win souls through spirit-filled songs and ministrations, one media to bring the imagination of the church to life on the big screen. Ushering protocol, hospitality and traffic at the front-facing units, they ensure orderliness in and out of service, making members and guests comfortable. Membership team helps new members in one church to know more about us, especially what makes us family. Maturity team helps to continue the process of spiritual growth as you strive to reflect the nature of Jesus Christ in every area of your life. The prayer unit upholds the congregation and the community in prayer. This year, One Church has reached out to even more people to continue to grow as one family through the Life Group program with eight different locations across the city. We are growing smaller to grow bigger. The church has encouraged the growth of both genders by setting up a men's ministry known as King's Men and a women's ministry known as One Woman's Network. But its message isn't just for adults. The junior church and the teen's church ensure that our future is being nurtured the right way God intended. So why would you stick around one church? Because we care for our family. We want them to grow in all areas of their life with the best kind of foundation there is, the foundation of Christ. We invite you to join our services Sundays, 8 a.m. and 10 a.m., both online and on-site. First timers can pick up a welcome pack at the hospitality stand in exchange for the guest card received during service. Also, join us on Wednesdays, 6.30 p.m. online, showing on all our social media platforms. Do come along with a friend. We have a surprise for you. See you soon.